What if I were to tell you that the number of sales increased by 41% in just one month? In this video, I'm gonna tell you about the latest stats that were just released for Ottawa's housing market and answer the most common questions so far this year. Are home buyers back in the market? Stick around. Welcome back and thanks for tuning in. My name is Andre with The Meadow Group and we service Ottawa and surrounding areas all things real estate. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and hitting that bell notification button for upcoming content. And if after this video, you might have a question about the market, there's a link in the description below and you can schedule a call directly with me. The Ottawa Real Estate Board just released its numbers for February and I have some interesting stats to show you. Not only did our sales or the number of transactions increase by 41% month over month, our inventory dropped down to 2.7 months, getting that much farther away from a balanced market. So what does this all mean? Let's take a look. Here we have our month over month comparison. On the left, we have our types of asset classes. So detached homes, semi-detached homes, townhomes, and condos. Um, on the bottom, we have days on market, months of inventory, and the number of sales. I'm gonna start with number of sales. So we went from 606 total transactions that were happening in January and it increased by 41% to 855. That is a very, very large increase in just one month, signaling that the buyers are more confident getting back into the market and shopping. Now, next I wanna talk about months of inventory. Again, we went from 3.8, which was very, very close to a balanced market. A balanced market is four to six months of inventory. We're just right there on the edge. And again, in one month, we dropped down by more than one month of inventory. So what this means is that the buyers now have less options than they did back in January. 2.7 months of inventory or available supply means that we are in a seller's market. It is not an aggressive seller's market like we saw last year in our peak market in January, February, in March, but again, it's gonna signal that there are a little bit less options. So March will be an interesting month to see if we do get more listings on the market or where sellers kind of wait a little bit longer for the spring. Now, days on market. Again, we can see December was 38, increased to 44, and then it dropped down back to 40. Days on market include both this is an average for both residential and condominium classes. But again, it's gonna give us an idea of how long it will take for a transaction to happen. Now, it is not a huge increase from 44 to 40, but again, it's gonna signal that the transactions are happening a little bit faster. Buyers are not in the market that much longer, shopping around, thinking about it. It is showing us that they are acting a little bit faster. All right, let's talk about the asset classes. We'll start with detached homes. So the most interesting thing about uh, last month for me was that detached homes um, increased by almost $55,000 in average price. We went from 710,000 to 764,000. That is a very aggressive increase in only one month. Again, gonna signal that the buyers are looking at this type of asset class. Now, semi-detached homes dropped from 683 to 629. I still think this is a very interesting asset class, a lot, uh, one that a lot of buyers don't take into consideration enough. You are gonna get uh, more footprint, you are gonna get more privacy, and just a bigger overall home than let's say a townhouse. Um, so I think it's something that uh, buyers should definitely take into consideration, especially if you're in that townhome section. Now for townhomes, we did see a little bit of a drop as well from January to February. We went from 598 to 582. Not a significant drop, um, but it is a drop uh, nonetheless. Um, again, if you are in that asset class, now would be a good time to take advantage of what's on the market. Um, condos, uh, again, if you remember from 2022, it was the only asset class that um, saw a very stable average price throughout the whole year. Um, so January was 412,000, February 410. So basically no, uh, no difference. It is holding its value steady. Um, it is a great asset class to get into the market to see your property appreciate in value. And then in a couple of years, you can use that equity and then upsize into the next level, which would be a townhouse. There you have it. Last month showed us that buyer confidence has returned for many, especially the ones that have been on the sidelines for most of 2022. The interest rates are on hold for the time being and buyers feel that it is safe to make a move. Our months of inventory dictate the type of market we are in and the number of sales is something to look out for in March as it will open the door on what we should expect for the upcoming spring market. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one.